like to bring on comedians who are in town uh, on Fridays to make us happy I'm during the day. Davidson's Liquors Happy Hour. So, Brad Williams, hey. come on in, man. How are you, sir? I'm great. Haven't seen you, in, see what, you in a while. What you, Welcome. I'll, pleasure. Honor pleasure. and privilege, man. Uh, have a seat. Can I get you another you pillow? Get, hey. Yeah, right. Mel, do you have the one pager? You got it? I know. Bring that, bring that to me, please. Oh, you're going to read the stats? Because even though I know you, <laughs> I, I want to know exactly what you're doing, like, coming up. Okay. So, so let me just tell everybody. You're at Comedy Works. You've already, you've already started, actually. Yeah. You, you performed Wednesday and Thursday at the Comedy Works downtown right. in Larimer Square tonight at 7.30 and 9.45. And then tomorrow night, Saturday night, also same times, 7.30 and 9.45. Brad Williams. Yeah, and... Uh, and, and, and Woody, I just want to let you know that e even though I'm a comic and I'm uh, visiting your city, I'm a diehard, lifelong Denver Broncos fan. Why? And because uh, my dad went to school with Elway at uh, oh. at uh, Stanford, and oh, cool. and so we had two options to root for pro teams that had Stanford quarterbacks. Uh, Broncos and, and the Raiders and God knows we weren't going to root for the Raiders <laughs> so that's why we're here and, uh, and, and, and and that's why I'm a Broncos fan and also it's fun coming to this city and rooting for this team now because I think Peyton Manning and myself have the same size forehead uh, it's, it, it, it's pretty big like now when I walk down the street I, I, after the loss on Sunday people are like oh wow that thigh injury was way worse than I thought but, but, but no it's, it's we, fine what, what we need to do though is put some red marks on your forehead yeah absolutely like just yeah. some glaring red marks that that look like the eye of the Illuminati or something like that would you like a piece of pizza from Papa John's hell yeah I'd like a piece, piece well, of pizza just put it on a plate let's, and, let's, uh, be, let's be serious for a moment people are not going to confuse you for pain man you have a beard <laughs> exactly so it, it, it's totally not gonna and happen. you would have run for a first down on third and five i could have limped shorter it. strides of yeah, course but, but sure it, it, it would have taken me about 52 nah, strides to get there but i, I would have gotten there. no offense you to come up short <laughs> but I'm, I'm sorry let's get the pizza and uh, uh you were talking you about beer too? Are, are you yeah, I want a beer. <laughs> now it's uh, semi cold now. It's it, it, semi cold. No, it's, it's semi -cold. cold. It's okay. Still cold. Now, sure. now the whole thing is that, uh, especially with the altitude and Thank my you. size, my uh, tolerance is not that great. But you like everything? Do you sure. have? Uh, and this this has nothing here, to do with, with your size. But mm -hmm. uh, I have talked to so many performers who come into town that they oh, get damn. very very Whoa. winded. I mean, they get they the altitude does affect them because you're entertaining mm -hmm. and it's got the is. Do you find like last night that that you get short of breath or that? It yeah, affects um, you? and uh, th uh, th thank you. And yeah. also, my show is really high energy. Uh, I'm 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 running around a lot, and because uh, I kind of have ADD, and I assume that my audiences do too. So I like to give them plenty to look at. But yeah, there's times when I'm up there, it's just kind of <sighs> just just panting for. I don't know how these professional athletes do it. I don't know what they do. I guess I got the oxygen tanks on the side, but I'd be pretty embarrassed if I pulled over after a knock knock joke and then had then had, had like do a little oxygen mask. <laughs> and you can bring it out on the thing. Bill Fitch, who, uh, the longtime coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers in the early days, uh, came into town and I said, "Are you affected by the altitude of your team?" He said, "We bring paper bags full of air from Cleveland. So <laughs> next time you come into town, get a couple of paper bags, popcorn bags, and fill sure. it with." Where do you, you know, live? Uh, I live in. Uh, I I live currently in Hollywood, California. Took so, you a while to figure that out. Yeah, huh? well, because well, I've been moving <laughs> you a travel lot. Travel so much. Yeah, well, that yeah. and I I just moved out of San Francisco. I, I I had a radio job up there. Now I was born and raised in um, Southern California, and then I moved up to San Francisco to do a radio gig. I'm a lifelong Dodger fan. But then once I got on radio, all my bosses were like, "Well, now you're here. You got to be a Giants fan. You got to be a San Francisco Giants fan. That's who you got to root for. You got to root for for the people." And I thought. Um, I'm a dwarf. There's no way I'm going to put on a jersey that says Giants on it. <laughs> that's not going to happen. I'm not going to support the thing that's been trying to kill me my entire life. You know, it, 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 I, I'm just, I, I can't Brad even Williams, just Williams, the root ironic root the comedian. Yeah, exactly. You're, Why? You're a dwarf? I didn't notice. You, I know, who knew? Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, well, I, I, I have to mention it on stage when I'm doing my act because if I don't talk about it, the entire audience just sits there like, does he know? <laughs> and, and uh, you know, so just kind of, it's and, the big elephant in the room. I think, based on comedians over the years, if you think about it, we've, we've recently lost uh, a great Robin young Williams. comedian. Yeah. And that they they use what's in their life, yep. what their body structure, I mean, very fat comedians do. Yeah, like a Louis Anderson does yeah. fat jokes. Or yeah. uh, a uh, recently arrested last night, Ralphie May. 
Uh, Ralphie May was in Colorado. Yeah. He uh, partook in uh, your legal uh, medicine here and uh, got arrested last night. Really? For, yeah. for doing it in public? No, for just uh, like... The, he, Selling it? I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone can pull up the story, but uh, uh, Ralphie's a friend of mine, so yeah. it's, it's kind of weird to see that happen. We have but, a friend named Ralphie. He's up in Boulder. He's a buffalo. He's the mascot of the team. Oh, that's right. But, yeah. But I... I, I I, I would not think it would be for doing it because it's legal here. <laughs> well, yeah. you, you can't do it in public, though. Oh, okay, and but I, I love the fact that it's legal here because when I walk down the street, pe people look down and see me and go, "Oh God, this is some good stuff." <laughs> and I have to be like, "No, I'm real, dude. Uh, <laughs> this is not any kind of hallucination you're having. This, this is really this, this is real life in front of you." you now, uh, Woody, I was really curious. What what's your take? Am on... I the guest here? Or I'm the comedian. No. Oh, yeah. well, but, not, but, only, not only is he queering you, but he didn't give a damn what, what I said. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> He's like, but I'm vague. What did you say? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm querying. Oh, yeah. oh, I misunderstood you. No, it's an actual <laughs> word. It's, it's fine. Uh, what, what are you guys thinking about the head coaching candidates that are still left? Well, there aren't many left. <laughs> yeah, there's about <laughs> three. But we think that this Denver is the last job. Standing because mm -hmm. Dan Quinn of the Seattle Seahawks is going to wants to take the Atlanta job, and I can't believe that the Broncos would wait now to that right. long. I think we, they're feeling a sense of urgency now to get yeah, something done. Gary Kubiak, yeah, Gary Kubiak. I think it, we're all in agreement because he's coming in and has now agreed to interview, and unless is maintained that he's the reluctant head, head coach, coach. Mm -hmm. wouldn't he have just told John Elway as close as they are? No, I don't want to come in. I don't want to get in the middle of that. I've already announced well, I, I'm saying Baltimore. I guess it's his prerogative to change his mind, sure. And maybe Denver has, you know, such a hold on his heart and on his head and his mind and his families that, that he's willing to talk about the head coaching position yeah. here, but maybe not in Chicago and maybe not in Atlanta, where he was said to be a candidate. Yeah, so the assumption is, and, and we both believe that Mike Shanahan actually should have gotten more consideration, and there's a school of thought that you can't bring back, you can't go home again. Well, Mike Shanahan actually came back here yeah. Two or three different times. You can go home again. Yeah. yeah you can. Well, who go. do you like? Who do you want? Well, you're a Broncos fan. I'm, I, like I said, big, big Broncos fan, and I've heard a lot of talk radio guys <laughs> talk about like, well, there's no, there, there's no sexy picks out there. there there's, there's no guys like a, like, like a John Gruden or an Urban Meyer coming out of college. And I'm thinking, well, you don't always need that coach. You don't necessarily need the sexy pick. You need the right pick. Like, uh, like I don't think Mike Tomlin of the Steelers was necessarily a sexy pick right. or or, uh, or uh, Mike McCarthy of, of the Packers. He's and, certainly not sexy. <laughs> but see, <laughs> I say this because I try to get it out there to the ladies that in terms of if, if you're picking a dude, don't always pick the sexy guy because I don't fall under that category. I say pick the right guy, the guy that can get the job done, the guy that's had a lot of experience that you that that you may not necessarily know about. So uh, you know, yeah, who, you know who would have been a sexy pick that's available now. I hadn't thought about before. Based Justin on Timberlake, said, he's bringing sexy <laughs> back. George Clooney, I think, is available he's a sexy again pick, now. I guess to a lot of women. Pick. Why not? He's trying to keep up with his wife and have <laughs> and, and, and 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 have all these sorts of jobs. So, By the yeah. way. Uh, the guys just told me in my ear, uh -huh. Ralphie May was arrested last night in Grand Junction okay. while doing his act because they felt he was a danger to himself wow. on stage. Well, the guy's, he was so high. Well, the guy's 400 he, pounds. I, I think if he's a danger to himself, off, yeah. it's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so, or falling over. Yeah, yeah. Say, so you can arrest him up. all the time. <laughs> How would the police know he was a danger to himself? How would you know during an act whether you were well, a danger evidently to yourself? Well, evidently, his he, he was not very intelligible. Yeah, um, uh, he was. <laughs> they couldn't make out what he was saying. Yeah. Plus, he there kept asking. Weaving. He kept asking for Doritos. And, and, <laughs> well, and the, you, you know, if you keep asking for Doritos, that you're, you're not all right in the head. Well, there, given there's, that there's this is Colorado, uh, that if he were eating like a big bag of gummy bears, how yeah. would you know? Because <laughs> he's he's 400 pounds, and he could be eating regular gummy bears, or he could be. Uh, it's a, the I don't know if you ever heard the story, which is, it's not a joke or anything, mm -hmm. a New York Times columnist came out here, famous okay. woman columnist, and she went and got a, a fudge bar or something, mm -hmm. and the guy explained to her, those are eight different... Like, uh, servings. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And she, but she went back to the Four Seasons or wherever the place she went downtown and, and ate the whole bar and wrote a column about how she thought she died. She was yeah. calling for, you know, help with the hotel. It was Marino well, Dowd. 
Yeah, well, well, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but she <laughs> she just ripped Colorado I don't and care. stuff. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's she gonna, gonna do? Sue to you? me? <laughs> and she actually did it. I yeah. mean, well, at least lying. It, was, it wasn't Maureen O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. That would have been real story. I think. Good, uh, good, timely reference there, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Woody yeah. Woody's in the 1930s pop culture. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 you got you got Harpo Marx joke. If you have any Ella Fitzgerald jokes, yeah, I wouldn't belong to a club that would have me as a member. You you have six children. I love my cigar, but I take it out every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I, I've had that discussion with you. That all my pop culture references are from the '60s, and people go, "It's no longer pop culture." What? It, what is your? I, I forgive me. I haven't okay. seen you, but I would hope to come see you while you're here. Sure. What's your act like? Oh, well, do I have to read this? No, 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 mostly I just talk about what's going on in my life because I'm not a good joke writer. Some comedians are very intelligent, very good joke writers. Here's how I write my jokes. Step one, be a dwarf. Step two, wait. And then so just some <laughs> funny stuff's going to happen to you. Uh, and one thing happened to me recently that was uh, actually sports related. Uh, I did a show about four days before the Rose Bowl, and I got to perform for uh, the Rose Bowl teams. I got to perform for Florida State, and I got to perform for oh, Oregon. Great. So um, I go on stage and I wrote some jokes specific to, uh, to, the, to the teams. Now we all kind of know about Jameis Winston's problems that, I, that he's had. So I go up on stage in front of the Oregon football players and I say, man, this, 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 James, this Jameis Winston, he's having so many problems with the sexual assault, they should change that chant to no means no. <laughs> oh. it, it, it destroys in the room. <laughs> then, cut to the game, the Oregon players win on the podium. Three players are on the yeah. podium going, no means no. And I'm sitting there going, the oh, my God. Doing, the fans were doing it, too. The fans were doing yeah. it. And then the next day, TMZ covered the story. You, uh, ESPN covered the story. Uh, Jamel Hill was talking about how it's such a horrible thing. And I'm sitting there going, oh, God, that was me. <laughs> not for your career, <laughs> yeah. it's not. <laughs> yeah. But I thought, okay, I'll get off scot-free. Because they don't know that. They, they actually yeah. don't know it was me. And then my phone rings, and and, and it's TMZ.com. And uh, when TMZ calls you, you kind of go through the last two months in your head of what the hell did they yeah. find? And like, <laughs> oh my God, did they find the body? Uh, but and then they said like, hey, we heard we heard it was your joke. So then uh, they posted a picture of me and Marcus Mariota on the TMZ oh. website, and now everyone knows that. Uh, I'm sort of partly responsible for, for, that, you. for that whole thing. That'll help the act, huh? That'll yeah, help sure, sell some why tickets. not? <laughs> a few more Twitter followers? Yeah, huh? well, I mean, I, I might lose some ticket sales in Florida State, but yeah, I'm selling out right. in Portland, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> How many days a year are you on the road? Uh, I'm on the road on average of 45 weeks a year. So I pretty wow. much just live out of a suitcase. It's but. A, it's a tough life. Where do you go from uh, Denver? Uh, from Denver, I'll be going to Baltimore. So maybe I'll actually go and say hi to Gary Kubiak. <laughs> yeah, before Please he do. comes here. Yeah, hey, hey, we were talking about the Dodgers. You mm -hmm. and the Do Dodgers have totally changed since you became a diehard. Yeah, and they're now spending money like the Yankees used to. Yeah, be. exactly. Uh, what other sports do you really like? Uh, I, I I love hockey. I played hockey growing up. So and I'm I'm from Orange County. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge Ducks fan. And uh, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tout the Ryan Getzloff flag, but I'll say he doesn't skate hard enough, personally. But uh, yeah, a huge, huge Ducks fan, uh, golf, uh, just all, all sports. You I, went I, I to the Super it. Bowl last year, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I went to the Super You're Bowl. I had, I had yeah. to sit there in my Broncos jersey and just be like the saddest dwarf in a Hallmark card, <laughs> just like watching that game, like, oh God, this is awful. They could have made a Lifetime movie out of that.